here we got something very interesting again. No stop signs. I'm going to pull over for just a minute. This traffic go, uh, go by me here. It's behind me. Just give me one moment here. Okay, what you have here is a lot of uh, construction debris sitting on uh, the driveway. And there's a, a police vehicle parked here. Now, again, this vehicle does not have a tag number up on top. I would imagine a police officer lives in this, uh, in this building here at 8422. And uh, there's nothing to show that who he belongs to or what district or what beat or anything like that. Okay, as we're approaching uh, Sunnyside here, we have the street that's all separated apart. Uh, you got signs, a and concrete on both sides of the street. As long as they're on private property, it's okay. I mean, you got a lot of work that's been done here with the sewers. You got a lot of patchwork that's going on. Probably looks like a main uh, a tile must have broken from the curb basin to the sewer uh, sewer main. And that's because the pipe underneath. Now that pipe is clay. It's, it's very brittle. If you get some weight on this thing, this thing will crack and shatter. It's like a china, like a plate. Uh, when you take a plate and you bang it on the, on the side of your countertop, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shatter. And that's the same thing what we use as uh, the water department uses here for your private drains. They use these clay, these clay tiles. It's not a pipe like uh, what you would think is a water main. This, these are clay tiles. It looks like you have a lot of leaves over here. Maybe the tree has fell in at uh, 8506 West Sunnyside. Okay, as I'm approaching... Uh, this block here is another commercial vehicle here at 8519 West Sunnyside. It's beginning to rain. There's a dead branch at 8534 West Sunnyside. That needs to be uh, trimmed. It looks like the whole tree is uh, needs to be coming needs to be coming down. Uh, a lot of work is going on outside. Everybody's out uh, doing work in their garage. And one fellow here cleaning off his deck area, his steps. As we're approaching the curve here, I see no stop signs, which is uh, which is very bad. I think I think there should be a stop sign here on this uh, street. We're at Oakview now. We switched over from Sunnyside to Oakview, and we're crossing Potawatomi. Sounds like a gambling uh, place. So we continue going on Oakview. Again, this street hasn't been resurfaced in a while. It's starting to turn a, a whitish gray. You can see the stones. The tar has uh, washed away up on top. It looks like there was a, a, a private train that collapsed and they, and they repaired it. And you've got the fire hydrant. Now, this fire hydrant is kind of high. That means your main is high. And we'll talk about that at a later date. Now, here you have another garage sale. Now, again, I don't see no permit, no, no city uh, official noticing that they could conduct a, a garage sale or a yard sale or driveway sale, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, to me, it's a garage sale. We've got four stop signs, or I'm sorry, three, four stop signs. This I'm approaching the uh, 4,000 block of uh, Oakview. I notice the street has been, the catch basins are fixed in the middle of this, I mean on the side of the street, and you got the water mains, I'm sorry, not the water mains, the sewer mains that are uh, collapsing in the middle of the street. And that was one that I just ran over, not very good tell with the water bottle. I'm at the 4600 block of Oakview. As I'm approaching the intersection, I'm scanning the intersection. And you got a four-way stop here. Over here you have Our Lady of Mother of the Church. This is actually a polling place. This is where there's 
I believe, three voting uh, precincts inside this church. There's plenty of parking. There's a fellow learning how to drive a motorcycle. He's practicing in the lot. Which anytime you, you have practice, that just makes you a better a better motorist if you're practicing like that. Okay, let me cut